The Human Mechanism YouTube channel is an adult-oriented YouTube account. Individuals under the age of 13 should not be watching without the consent of an adult. Hello G.I. Joe and 118 scale fans, this is The Human Mechanism. Today we're going to be taking a look at the World Peacekeeper's anti-aircraft missile vehicle. The set includes two figures. Any of my longtime viewers would know that I don't have much to say about them. They're placeholders for your G.I. Joe figures. The set includes two vests, two jerry cans, a laptop, two backpacks, and three versions of the M4 carbine. Now we move on to the vehicle. This is based on a Chinese HQ-12 TEL, or Transport Erector Launcher. HQ-12 refers to the type of missile, which is based on the KS-1 surface-to-air missile, but uses a different radar. The TEL itself is a Wanshan Special Vehicle Factory WS-2300. First things first, this is a big vehicle, so make room. The missile system itself can rotate 360 degrees, and the missiles can pivot up and down. The missiles are held in place by rings, and this is one of the very few gripes I have with this vehicle. The rings themselves are not hinged or anything, they're just one piece of plastic with the ability to bend in order to detach the missile. Obviously, these could easily be broken. In fact, the examples I'm showing now are severely stressed. So plan accordingly before buying this. The missiles are substantial. The only thing in my arsenal I can really compare them to are the missiles from the 1988 G.I. Joe Warthog. The cab can hold two figures, and has adjustable rear-view mirrors. The vehicle also has retractable stabilizing struts. One thing to note is that the bottom of the vehicle is very detailed. And just in case anyone is wondering, the tires are not rubber. So, is there anything that you should look out for on the anti-aircraft missile vehicle? Yes. As with many World Peacekeepers vehicles, the plastic is a bit thin. However, I would take extra care of this vehicle in particular. Definitely keep an eye on that missile section. It's a bit more intricate than what we're used to getting from the World Peacekeepers line. There are a lot of parts that could be lost. Everything from the missiles to the rings. Also, there are these two tubes that are not locked in all that well. They're basically held in by friction. I ended up gluing one of them in place. Also, you might be tempted to move those ladders that appear on both sides of the vehicle. I mean, it does look like they're hinged, but they're not. They're a single piece of plastic. But other than that, I don't think you should have any problems. So, overall, this vehicle is awesome. It's always great when toy companies delve into the nuances of warfare. We're so accustomed to vehicles like tanks and aircraft. In other words, vehicles that we picture rushing onto the battlefield. This is a vehicle that is not meant for that. It's supposed to, for the most part, remain stationary and defend the airspace around the battlefield. It's a very unique type of vehicle in the 118 scale world, and one that I think we should see more of. Also, if anything, it's a very nice looking vehicle. Definitely makes a great display piece. So, with that said, the World Peacekeeper's Anti-Aircraft Missile Vehicle gets a massive seal of approval. See you all later. Yo, Joe!